In the example, Read Auto periodically has a special week-long sale. As part of the advertising campaign, Read runs one or more television commercials during the weekend preceding the sale. Data from a sample of five previous sales are shown below. When Read Auto ran one television ad, it sold 14 and 17 cars. When it ran two television ads, it sold 18 cars. When it ran three television ads, it sold 24 and 27 cars. The variable X is the number of TV ads, while the variable Y is the number of cars sold. The sum of the five observations of X is equal to 10. Dividing this by the sample size 5 yields a sample mean equal to 2 ads. The sum of the five observations of Y is 100. Dividing this by the sample size 5 yields a sample mean equal to 20 cars sold. The first deviation from the sample mean for variable X is found by subtracting the first observation of X, 1, from X bar, 2. This difference is equal to 1 minus 2 or negative 1. The second deviation from the sample mean for variable X is found by subtracting the second observation of X, 3, from X bar, 2. This difference is equal to 3 minus 2 or 1. The third deviation from the sample mean is equal to 0 because the third observation of x is 2 and the sample mean is 2. The fourth deviation from the sample mean for variable x is found by subtracting the fourth observation of x, 1 in this case, from x bar which is equal to 2. Thus, the fourth deviation from the sample mean for variable x is equal to 1 minus 2 or negative 1. The fifth deviation from the sample mean for variable x is found by subtracting the fifth observation of x from x bar. This is equal to 3 minus 2 or 1. The first square deviation from the sample mean for variable x is equal to negative 1 squared or 1. The second square deviation from the sample mean for variable x is equal to 1 squared or 1. The third square deviation from the sample mean for variable x is equal to 0 squared or 0. The fourth square deviation from the sample mean for variable x is equal to negative 1 squared or 1. The fifth square deviation from the sample mean for variable x is equal to 1 squared or 1. The sum of the five square deviations is 4. Dividing this by the sample size, 5, minus 1 yields a sample variance equal to 1 add squared. The first deviation from the sample mean for variable y is found by subtracting the first observation of y, 14, from y bar, 20. This difference is equal to 14 minus 20 or negative 6. The second deviation from the sample mean for variable y is found by subtracting the second observation of y, 24, from y bar, 20. This difference is equal to 24 minus 20, or 4. The third deviation from the sample mean for variable y is found by subtracting the third observation of y, 18, from y bar, 20. This difference is equal to 18 minus 20 or minus 2. The fourth deviation of the sample mean for variable y is found by subtracting the fourth observation of y from y bar, which is equal to 17 minus 20 or negative 3. The fifth deviation from the sample mean for variable y is found by subtracting the fifth observation of y from y bar. This difference equals 27 minus 20 or 7. The first square deviation from the sample mean for variable y is equal to a negative 6 squared, or 36. 
The second square deviation from the sample mean for variable y is equal to 4 squared, or 16. The third square deviation from the sample mean for variable y is equal to negative 2 squared, or 4. The fourth square deviation from the sample mean for variable y is equal to negative 3 squared, or 9. The fifth square deviation from the sample mean for variable y is equal to 7 squared, or 49. The sum of the five square deviations of y is 114. Dividing this by the sample size, 5 minus 1 yields a sample variance equal to 28.5 car squared. The first product of deviations from the sample means of x and y is equal to negative 1 times negative 6. Negative 1 times negative 6 is 6. The second product of deviations from the sample means of x and y is equal to 1 times 4, which is equal to 4. The third product of deviation from the sample means of x and y is equal to 0 times a negative 2, which is equal to 0. The fourth product of deviation from the sample means is equal to negative 1 times a negative 3, which is equal to 3. The fifth product of deviations from the sample means of x and y is equal to 1 times 7, which equals 7. The sum of the five products of deviations is 20. Dividing this by the sample size 5 minus 1 yields a sample covariance equal to 5 cars adds. The estimator of the slope of the estimated regression line is the covariance divided by the variance of x, which is equal to 5 cars adds divided by 1 add squared, or 5 cars per add. The estimator of the intercept of the estimated regression line is the sample mean of y minus the estimated slope times the sample mean of x, which is equal to 20 cars minus 5 cars per add times 2 adds, or 10 cars. This means that Reed Auto Sales sells 10 cars when no ads are placed on TV in average. Next, substitute the estimated intercept 10 and estimated slope 5 into the estimated regression equation. This yields y hat equal to 10 plus 5 times x. The equation for b1 below is an alternative way to compute the estimated slope of the regression equation. It's kind of a shortcut. The sum of the x is, is equal to 10. The sum of the y's is equal to 100. Square the values of x, 1 squared equals 1. 3 squared is 9, 2 squared is 4, 1 squared is 1, and 3 squared is 9. The sum of the squared values of x is equal to 24. Next, compute the product of x times y for all five observations. 1 times 14 is 14. 3 times 24 is 72. 2 times 18 is 36. 1 times 17 is 17. 3 times 27 is 81. Sum of the products of x and y yields 220. Substituting in the sum of the x, y's equal to 220, the sum of x squareds of 24 
the sum of the x's 10, the sum of the x's 10, the sum of the y's 100 yields 220 minus 10 times 100 divided by 5, which is divided by 24 minus 10 squared divided by 5. Simplification yields 20 divided by 4 or 5, which is identical to what we computed on the previous slide. The SST is equal to the SSR plus SSE. The SST is equal to the sum of square deviations between the observed value of y and the sample mean of y. This is the total variation of y. It is used in the numerator com to compute the variance of y. SST stands for the total sum of squares. The SSR is equal to the sum of squared deviations between the predicted values of y and y's sample mean. SSR stands for sum of squares due to regression. The SSE is equal to the sum of squared deviations, sum of squared deviations between the observed value of y and the predicted values of y. SSE stands for the sum of squares due to error. Again, these are residuals. The thing in the parentheses here, those are called residuals, the ith residual, which is an estimated error. The coefficient of determination, denoted r squared, is equal to the sum of squares due to regression divided by the sum of squares total. Sample correlation co coefficient is denoted r subscript xy and is equal to the slope of the estimated regression equation, b1 times the square root of the coefficient of determination, r squared. Now this is only true when there is only one independent variable, like in chapter 14. This is no longer true when we get to chapter 15 and we have many independent variables.